Hello, welcome back to page 588, which is in chapter 8, section 3. And this is these are the problems where we have complex fractions, complex rational expressions. We've got fractions inside fractions. And this basically means 2x subtract 3 over x minus 2 divided by 4x subtract 3 over x squared minus 4. You can do this as a division problem. So you multiply by the reciprocal, factor, reduce, remultiply, just like we did last time. But we're using this as a we're using this example as a way to show you another use for least common multiple. So I'm going to rewrite this, except I'm going to factor the, this um, denominator. So I've got 2x subtract 3 over x subtract 2. And that whole thing is over. And usually I try to draw it a little bit darker so you can see. See how it's darker? 4x subtract 3 over x subtract 2 times x plus 2. Okay. It's really hard to wrap my eyes around this, and I can understand how you, you would be having problems with that too. I'm going to multiply by the number 1. And that number 1 is going to not look like the number one. And just because I think it might help, I'm going to multiply like this. I'll show you. That's over one. Okay. Now, if I multiply by x subtract two, that's going to make that x subtract two go away. It's also going to make that x subtract two go away. But now I got this x plus 2 that I have to worry about. Now notice that this over 1, over 1, that's only because I'm trying to do that. And that, I'm, I'm, I didn't do it with the first example because I don't know if it's helpful. I've done it both ways in class and some people like to see it and some people don't. So I'm giving you the option. I'll do it this time, and then for the next one, I won't do it. I'll show you. I'll show you the. We'll compare and contrast. All right. But basically, this right here, even though it looks really complicated, is just this thing divided by itself. This is just the number one again, and I'm multiplying by one. So the x subtract two, and I usually don't do this, but the x subtract twos are going to be eliminated. They're going to reduce. That leaves 2x subtract 3 times x plus 2. Now, in the uh, bottom part right here, I'll cover this up, these x subtract 2s are going to reduce, and these x plus 2s are going to reduce. That just leaves 4x subtract 3. So nothing is going to reduce any further. 2x minus 3, x plus 2, neither one of those are nothing. The three of these are not going to factor, so nothing is going to um, cancel further. Don't say cancel. So to simplify it, I'm going to get 2x times x, which is 2x squared. 4x subtract 3x is 1x, and negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, all over 4x subtract 3. And I know that that's complicated, but remember, we're just teaching you a particular skill with this. To be honest, if uh, someone just came up and said, hey, divide, I'd probably do it the other way. I, I, we did it last week. We'll do a couple more, and I don't think these are going to be as bad as that one. Maybe, maybe they will. I don't know. So I'm going to multiply... by 4x plus 5 and down here same thing 4x plus 5 4x plus 5 over 4x plus 5 is just going to give me the number 1 that's going to get rid of this so I don't have any more fractions in the top part but it's not going to get rid of this so I also have to multiply by 5x subtract 6 this is also just the number 1. Okay, now 
look at this. The top is the same as the bottom. So again, I'm just multiplying by one. It doesn't look like one, so it's not gonna look the same, but it will be have the same value. Over here, now, why did I do that? Because the 4x plus 5 is going to make the 4x plus 5 reduce. And I get 3x subtract 7 times 5x subtract 6. I'll multiply that in, in just a moment. In the denominator, the 5x minus 6 are going to cancel. And I get 6x minus 1 times 4x plus 5. Okay, now, here's the thing. This is straight up multiplying by the reciprocal. That's all that we just did. Take a moment, pause, and look. See what I'm talking about. I have 3x subtract 7 over 4x plus 5. If I put that over here, if I just switch the, switch the position, I'm still going to have 3x subtract 7 over 4x plus 5. But the 6x minus 1 and the 5x minus 6 flipped. So if I just change the direction for these, the order, that's straight up multiplying by the reciprocal. So you see that like I'm doing the same thing, we're just showing a different method. And I, I want to keep emphasizing that, it's about learning different tools. Let's multiply 5x times 3x is 15x squared. Um, negative 18, subtract 35, what is that? That'd be negative 53, I think. 53x, somebody check me on that one. And negative seven times negative six is positive 42. And six x times four x is 24 x squared. 30 subtract four is going to be 26 x and then negative five. And of course, the first thing I would think about is, can I reduce it? No, you already got a factor right here, nothing reduced, so that's good. All right, last one in this section. This one has a sum in the numerator. So I'm going to put parentheses around the whole thing. Both of, I have a, both of these have a common um, denominator of x. And actually, the truth is, I'm going to do it as a distribution problem, but I don't think they meant to write it that way, because I would just add this. This is 3 over x, all right? I don't know why, I don't know why they did that. Maybe. I'm going to do it the other way just because you're not always going to see that and I'm going to show you what it looks like. But to be honest, 2 over x plus 1 over x is 3 over x. So I'll leave that as it is. I'm going to multiply by x over x. That's going to eliminate both of these. I'm also going to multiply by x plus 2 over x plus 2. I just have to distribute what's going on here. So think of it this way. This is going to be 2 over x times x times x plus 2 plus 1 over x times x times x plus 2. This is where I'm thinking I probably should add those together, but I'm doing this on purpose to show you that if you don't combine these, then you have to use distribution. It's a bad example if I, if I do it the other way. And then here I get 2x over x plus 2 times x times x plus 2. Okay, now I can start reducing stuff. The x's are going to reduce. The x's are going to reduce. So I get 2 times x, 2 times 2, 2x two plus 4. I get 1 times x plus 2, which is x plus 2. The x subtract twos are going to reduce, and I just get two x times x, which is two x squared. And if I take care of the top, I get three x plus six over two x squared. And it does not look like I have any co anything in common that I can reduce. I think I would, and I'm absolutely positively sure that if I had three over x, that's where that three came from. So. Anyway, like I said, I know that we get into, well, do I have to do it this way? I'm only using this as an example of show you what's possible. We're learning about the tools with it. All right.